morning children this is pradeep and uh, i'm going to teach you the drama which is in uh, class 9 it is prescribed for you in class 9th and 10th both you have to study the english drama so you all are, must be aware about this that this is a, a merchant of venice okay the merchant of venice merchant of venice the drama which is being uh, added to your syllabus okay now you have to study this so what is this merchant of venice who has written this so you are well familiar with the name william shakespeare okay william shakespeare has written this drama this play it is written by him only merchant of venice so what is this merchant of venice merchant of venice is a story which is divided into five acts okay with scenes uh entry exit characters and uh, dialogues so whenever this characters in the dialogue it is uh, there it is known as a play okay just like a movie only as you go to the uh, cinema halls and watch movie the same way at that time uh, at the time of william shakespeare or you can say in the elizabethan era at that time people do not uh, did not have anything for their entertainment purpose so what they do, what they do like simply they used to go for the theaters there they used to watch such kind of plays so plays means a uh, stage is there okay where the characters come and then they deliver their dialogues okay it's a set format their entry their exit their role everything is fixed okay so in a very short introduction i'll just tell you about merchant of venice it is the merchant of venice the merchant of venice it's a the introduction part means simply uh, like uh, the hero of the play will be there the heroine will be there or you can say like uh, the central figure of the character will be also there though like uh, we have here two characters the two major characters like antonio and Bassanio and then Portia and then we have uh, other characters also but I just go with only these three characters first okay the three characters first only so this Antonio Antonio is the merchant of Venice okay he is a Christian and this Bassanio is a very good friend best friend to antonio and this portia is a lady who lives in belmont while these two people are living in venice okay and she is living in belmont okay that uh, like this play is uh, taking all the actions in two places only either in the venice or in belmont okay so this antonio is a merchant of venice okay so like uh, before going with these characters only first i'll tell you what is exactly theme that means three four five themes are there sometimes to, like uh, important themes are there so we'll discuss about themes i have written already here like the theme of the play the theme of the play the theme of the friendship and loyalty so these two characters are related with their friendship and loyalty okay and then it will go with the theme of love so for love we have Bassanio and Portia. Two more pairs we have like Graciano, Nerissa, and then, uh, other characters are also there Lorenzo and Jessica. Okay, so we'll discuss it later. Then, theme of love Bassanio and Portia. Justice and mercy that will come in uh, the last part of the play. Okay, when uh, like Act 4 will be taking place at that time for the justice and mercy and other things will be there. And then we have appearance versus reality. So, we are first beginning with the appearance versus reality only. This is the important part of the play. Like in the whole play, you will be able to find this appearance versus reality. So what is this exactly appearance versus reality? Okay. Like this play, when it begins with the, uh, uh, like uh, the first one, the act one, scene one. If I just tell you, the act one, scene one. The act one, scene one. When... Uh, this is also known as an opening scene. 
the opening scene of the play this is known as the opening scene of the play you will be able to find this the main character antonio he is in the melancholic mood he is in the sad mood so now as soon as the curtain opens uh, you find one character in front of you and he is sad so definitely the question will be arising in the mind of the audience and you also like you are just like an audience if i come like simply a person who is sad so definitely uh, like the question can be raised uh, uh, question can be arising in this way yes, sir why are you looking sad so simple the question will be uh, why are you sad so here the two friends are there of Antonio. They are asking him that why he is looking so melancholic. The another word is there melancholy or the sad. Okay. So then they are trying to find out the reasons for his sadness because he is a merchant. He has uh, ships. They have gone. They have gone in the ocean for merchandise for their business purpose. So if uh, somebody is involved in such kind of business, definitely the person will be sad because of his business only. Because it's a very dangerous at that time when the ships were moving to the ocean. Sometimes they become the victim of any storm, tornado, or maybe the sea pirates or the other things. Okay, so Antonio is sad because of his ships or for what? But he is not accepting. His two friends are trying to tell him that exactly why are you sad? But he is not able to accept it that I am sad only because of my business. Okay, so after that, then Bassanio comes and then other characters also come and uh, other characters are also coming into the play. They are trying to define, then Bassanio comes. So in this way, like it's a whole story, which is kind of, which is uh, divided into different, different scenes. So then act one, scene one, if we discuss, then then Bassanio comes and then Graciano, who is another character, Graciano. Okay, so if I write down the names of the characters in this way only, like uh, Antonio, Bassanio, Portia, and Graciano, one of the like minor characters, but they are playing some major roles also. Graciano, he is a very like talkative person, and he is trying to always show his uh, like wit, uh, wit and intelligent. That I am very intelligent. I can solve all the questions. Always used to. Uh, is trying to impose his uh, uh, knowledge over others okay so simply Antonio, Bassanio, Portia and Graciano like if the hero is there then the villain will be also there so here we have in the form of the villain that is Shylock okay Shylock is the villain of this play he is a Jew Okay, all these people are Christian. He has one daughter named Jessica. Jessica is the daughter of Shylock. Okay. Then we have other characters also. Other characters like uh, Lorenzo. Okay, Lorenzo is there. And then Tubal is there. Okay, Tubal is there. Then we have uh, with Portia, one, uh, one attendant is always there. She is more than an, att an attendant, uh, Portia. Nelsa. Okay, Nelsa. So these two people, Portia and Nelsa, they are related to Belmont. They both are living in Belmont. And then we have other characters also because uh, like in class 8, you might have studied a little part is there in the Gulmohar book about the caskets, one other thing. So as I was talking about the appearance versus reality, one part. So that is about the casket scenes only. So here, like Bassanio once visited to Belmont, then he fell in love with Portia. Graciano was there. So Graciano fell in love with the, this uh, a girl, Neressa. Okay. And then now... Uh, Bassanio has come in this scene in order to just look for some money from Antonio that was 3,000 ducats okay 3,000 ducats so Bassanio uh, Antonio told that uh, I do not have money I cannot give you then uh, uh, Bassanio was a little bit disappointed but Antonio told him go and ask uh, some loan from anyone in this Venice okay I will take the responsibility of the loan then uh, other things are happening okay 
so this is a like normal introduction about the act one scene one so once you take out your book okay and then go through with the description first the character part is very important like simply it will ask like who is antonio okay so antonio is the merchant of venice who is bassanio bassanio is a spendthrift person okay the person who spends more by not earning but by taking some loans then portia portia is the rich heiress it is mentioned as rich heiress of belmont rich heiress of belmont then nerissa a lady in waiting or an attendant okay to portia then we have a, who is a shylock the so shylock is a, a jew a cruel jew he is known for his cruelty then jessica has daughter okay so like this only you have to go through when you open your book at the introduction part of the uh, like uh, the character it is given okay so this is a normal introduction about the act 1 scene 1 so uh, line by line descriptions we will go don't worry we'll go with the line by line description and the meaning column and everything okay so slowly we will start teaching or we will just uh, go through with this kind of pattern like line by line explanation then the workbook is there then we'll discuss the questions very easily you will be able to finish it up do not worry okay so thank you very much